Hey there, it's Brittany and I am back with the Camp Out Design Challenge kit from Softflex. Super excited about this. Um, let's see what's in here. I've opened it, but I haven't looked like I haven't opened it. Does that make sense? Like I saw what's in the bag, but I have no idea what's in the bag. So here's the contents. And these are launching on April 26th. So we have ooh, some of my favorite beading wire, the um, antique brass. I love their metallics line. The copper's my favorite. I haven't actually, uh, maybe have used the antique brass before, but I'm starting to get um, a couple rolls of it. I need to use it because it's so gorgeous and I love antique brass. Uh, what is this? Is this a snap bracelet? Oh my gosh. These were huge when I was a little kid in the 90s, but my parents <laughs> wouldn't let me have one. <laughs> they would like, they were like, no, you'll hurt your eye. I, I don't really understand the thought process there, but I got them at, anyway at school. I was a little bit of a rebel, but I didn't let my parents know that I got them. Anyway, it's a cool snap bracelet. I miss these. And I've heard that they're just measuring tapes on the inside, but that's so cute. It's like a camp theme. Oh my gosh, memory lane. <laughs> All right, so we have, ooh. Okay, so we have some gold Softlex two by two millimeters uh, crimp tubes. These are gold filled. I love their crimp tubes. We have gold plated ear wires and they have a ball on them. Love those. Those are so easy to use. Um, we have tierra cast koi charms that's fun i don't have these all right and it's not like i have a lot of tierra cast either but these are so cool i hadn't seen those before i love that antique gold or gold plated then we have a gold plated rattlesnake link i might have oh sorry junk on my hands might have one of these from tucson in 2022 but i'm not sure that's so cool um, we have a gold plated lobster claw clasp and what is this picture Jasper donut I love picture Jasper that was so cool I love donuts real and stone <laughs> All right so then these are navy travertine engraved rectangles these are um, check glass those are beautiful love those such a pretty color oh no i'm gonna lose one constantly losing beads in this apartment it's beautiful seven millimeter topaz with brown check glass faceted rounds these are gorgeous these are really pretty Ooh, i'm thinking a bracelet with those tear cast charms with that that's gorgeous um then we have four millimeter orange check glass faceted rounds, so fire polish beads. Love those. We have six gr millimeter green check glass faceted rounds. Love these too. Those are gorgeous. They're almost, they're that um, satin, but they're matte. That's so cool. I can definitely say I don't have those. Six millimeter dark blue um, check glass faceted rounds these are wonderful that's actually quite bright to me but they're beautiful love check glass we know that <laughs> and then we have a jesse james uh custom bead mix let me open this up oh my gosh there's quite a bit in this one let's see loving the colors Wow, look at these guys. Oh, these are going to make gorgeous rain, like raindrop earrings. So beautiful. Some um, larger rondelles. These are so cool. I want these in like every color. I have some, I think, in t teal and maybe some in orange. But um, these are turquoise and maybe orange. But these are blue and gold. I'll probably make my own if I really wanted to. We have some stone beads, maybe dyed magasnite or dolomite or something. Got a cage, a couple cage beads. And there's a crystal stuck in that one. 
That'll come out pretty easily once you move it around a little bit. There you go. With a, I think it's a stone bead on the inside of that. That's pretty cool. Nice gunmetal color. Couple bead cones, bead caps. Got some stars. These are cute. They've got like a little bit of a gold spray on them. Some. These are um, like marble beads. They're coated like white beads that have paint on the outside. Ooh, some little blue cat's eye stars. I haven't seen these. Those are cute. We've got some brass spacers. Love these. Got some brown teardrops. Some elongated bicones in blue. Some bead caps in gold. Some little r crystal rondelles. And I think that's it, but that's a cute little mix. I love that. I love this whole whole box. Uh, my favorite, I think, was surprisingly these two strands. Um, the green, because I've never seen anything like that, and the um, topaz, because it's just so elegant. And I really like the tiara cast charms, but everything's really fun and very cohesive. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to make something with this. I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided I'm going to make a pair of earrings and a bracelet. Um, these are the beads that I'm going to use in the pair of earrings. This cute little um, crystal, another crystal, a cone, a star bead, um, crystal rondelle, and a spacer or a bead cap. So I'm going to use some 22 gauge gold wire and I'm going to do a small loop at one end. These aren't the smallest pliers, so if you have smaller pliers that might be helpful. And then I'm just going to do a couple wraps here. And we'll trim. I am going to take my cone and slide that on. Then my pear crystal, pear-shaped crystal, slide that down in the cone. And then I'm gonna take my bead cap, my rondelle, and my star. And that's one part of our earring. And I'm just going to do another wire wrapped loop at the top. I want both loops to be facing this way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a loop like that. And just do a couple wire wraps there. have a larger jump ring. I think these are probably eight or ten millimeter and I'm just going to slip that onto my crystal and then slip that onto the bottom of my connector. Close that up and straighten that wire out a little bit. Take my Softlex ear wire Here we have a really fun dangly pair of earrings. They almost look, they look like a couple different things to me. They remind me of like a wizard's wand or a witch's wand or something. And they also remind me of like a torch. So um, either way, I think it's so fun. I love that star at the top. I love how sparkly they are. Ugh, I love them. Then um, I haven't really designed in my mind this bracelet yet, but I wanted to use some memory wire. And I cut one and I cut it in about half of a round of memory wire and I did a double loop on this side and I'll show you how I did that 
in just a moment. I want to cut off the excess wire here. And that's going to be a little difficult because memory wire cutters are a little thick. So, but and you don't want to use your nice nippers because you will ruin them. I've done that before. So I'm going to take, I really want these two colors and I have some seed beads. I think I'm just going to use seed beads on this as um, spacers. I think these are like 11 O's in gold. And I just love this brown and this green together. So I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to load up one of these with green and one with brown. You can do whatever color combo you want. You can do green and brown on both. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Okay, and I've closed this one up and we have like a half circle here. And then I haven't closed this one up because I wanna show you what I do to close it up. Now this portion I cut too long, so I am going to trim it. And then I'll just take my pliers and I want to make sure that the tip of the memory wire is right in between the pliers. Otherwise, you'll get that longer piece of wire at the end like I did at the beginning of showing you this. And then I am just going to roll back towards myself. You can roll in, but rolling back towards myself is a little bit easier. And I am just going to do this two times so there's no danger of a bead slipping off. So here we have two little like U shapes or rainbows or half half bangles and um, I, they're about the same length and then I am going and I'm going to design the rest of the bracelet. Okay next I took this really cute donut from the kit and I made um, a loop at the top. I'm going to show you how I did that and I'm going to turn it into a connector instead of just a pendant. I took another piece of my 22 gauge wire stuck it through and you don't have to go directly across if you wanted your connector to be like right here you'd go through right there there right there but I'm gonna go directly across and there we go and I'm just going to bring around the shorter end a couple times here to make it secure. It's okay, I'm doing a messy wrap. If you like super, um, like exact wraps, that's totally fine too. And then I am going to take my pliers and do finish the loop. This one's a little looser than the other one because I didn't do it as tightly, but that's okay. And then I'll hold that loop and bring it around a few times to create that messy wrap. And then we just want to clip it on the same side that we did on the other one, which would be this side. And you can tuck that in if you need to, but here is our connector. That's a little messier than I wanted, but that's okay. It'll be fine for our bracelet. Now I am going to take a couple of jump rings. I have some smaller ones than the ones I used on the um, necklace, or than the ones I used on the earrings. A slip on one side and one side here. My other piece and slip it on to our loop.
There's another idea I have in my head using this same technique, but a different style or a different way to execute it on the bracelet. So we'll see that in a future video. So I have these two, my donut, and then I am gonna take my check glass and I'm gonna do um, some simple loops just to save time. I have some eye pins. I'm just gonna do as many as I need to um, make the bracelet the length it needs to be to fit my wrist. So for a simple loop, you just bend forward. I cut my about half an inch and then bend back into a loop, or roll back into a loop, I should say. And then from here on, I am going to um, connect these in their own little beaded chain. And we'll put that beaded chain together by opening up the loop we just made by swinging it open like we would a jump ring and then connecting it to the next loop and swinging it back closed. I am going to take that and attach it right to our bracelet and then if I don't like how the connection fits I'll just use a jump ring but I think it's going to be okay. So we have an asymmetrical bracelet. And actually, I'm gonna take off one of these because I need room for my clasp and it's a little long the way it is, which is totally fine. I can use more beads later on for a different project. Softflex did include a clasp in the um, kit. However, for bracelets, I really like toggle clasps because they're easier to do one-handed for me. Um, but uh, I encourage you to use whatever clasp you like the most. I am just going to um, attach this one that I had on hand. It's the only gold clasp that really went with this style in my uh, toggle collection in my temporary apartment. And I'll just swing that open and put that on. And then um, we are going to connect these two with a jump ring. Close that up. I'm going to take a, th a second jump ring and attach that to my clasp. And that's because the jump ring from uh, the just having one jump ring attached to this part of the clasp would not allow the end of the clasp to go through this ring and sometimes you have to have that ability to be able to hook your bracelet. So you can definitely make this bracelet at home. You can make it in whatever length you'd like if you want to use less of the fire polish beads and more of the Picasso. Um, this connection here is not my favorite so I might do just one, I think actually I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna take one of these off and simplify that a little bit. Okay, so I have just changed that to one jump ring in the middle and it's a lot less clunky. We have our bracelet. And I think what I'm going to do, I've been thinking about this the whole time, I think I'm gonna glue this tear cast snake to the donut. I'm gonna take my E6000. And I don't know if I want it, I kinda of want it this way. But the problem with that is these move a little bit and that, that might mess with the glue over time. So I'm just gonna put it Some glue there, some glue there, 
and take my little snake and I'm just going to rest the snake on top of the donut in the place I'd like it and then I'll let that sit for at least 20 minutes before I try and move it again and then um, I will let that rest for 24 hours before I actually wear the bracelet anywhere and I'll show you the finished piece in just a moment. All right, this is completely dry. I love it, it's so cool. Um, and it's just a neat design. Um, I would check it out if you have some memory wire. It's really easy. So I'm gonna put it on so you can see what it looks like. And there we go. It's so fun. I love the double um, fire polish beads, the snake. I love that type of jasper and check glass. All my favorites on one bracelet, so. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Check out softlex.com. I'll leave a link to their site in the description of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the bracelet and this awesome pair of earrings. Uh, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Miss Goldie just had 25 teeth taken out. Unfortunately, it was all her front teeth, top and bottom. This was three days ago, but her mouth is no longer stinky and she doesn't have dental disease anymore. Right, Goldie? Oh, she's sleeping, like always. Hi, Goldie. Hi, honey. But it's been a little rough because she has to get medicine twice a day and it's like two or three medicines at a time and she didn't like how they taste so it's been very hard for the last three days but I think she's starting to feel better. Right Goldie? Alright, say bye to your friends.